So just to confirm, Colombia and Japan progress to the last 16 and it will be a bitter pill for Senegal's players and fans to swallow those yellow cards coming back to hurt them in the end but its exit had already been confirmed last week. A football journalist Juliet uh, Bawua is on hand to go through Senegal's journey in this World Cup and what their elimination means for African football. Now Juliet, always great having you on beyond the game on the game. Uh, it's a cruel cool way for uh, Senegal to be knocked out. So can they take any positives from this tournament? Right, thank you for having me. Just like you said, they surely will go, um, will be going out all this, um, this tournament knowing that um, they gave up their best and it was um, simply not enough. Most importantly, the key takeout um, will be how they could have secured a run of 16 sport even um, before the Colombia match and why it is not a tournament where chances are not to be um, taken. So if you go back to the match against um, Japan and how dramatically they gave away that win, it tells you that they have themselves to blame for being eliminated in this fashion. And um, he, we, um, Coach Ali Usise has spoken after the game and he said that um, he preferred to be eliminated in another way, although he said his team fully respects um, this as a general rule. And he, however, blamed the many yellow cards they got, just like you mentioned. So, yes, it is a sad way for Africa's remaining hope to falter um, the way they did. The first team ever in World Cup history to um, fall for this casualty, that is the fair play um, rule. And the story continues. It goes on. The rest of the tournament will go on without an African representative. And for me, I think the just three reasons why um, Senegal lost to Colombia today. One, a much improved second half performance by Colombia and Senegal's attempt to play um, only for a draw backfired and also failure to defend set pieces. African teams, they've conceded eight goals from set pieces in this particular um, tournament. So, yeah, for the first time in six, uh, 36 years, we'll be seeing um, a World Cup that is the last 16 without an African team. Yeah, it's a sad sight to see, though. But let's take this into a wider context as well. Now, considering that this continent can produce so many and so much rich or you know high class talents especially for clubs in european clubs why isn't this being replicated in the national side or on the international level i think there are ways um, of looking at this um, you can tie it down to complacency maybe discipline um, um, coaching methods and then um, commitment level, as well as structures, among other reasons. There are so many um, questions you can come up with, and it repeats itself now and every uh, other time that they, um, we have tournaments such as, as this. And largely, most people feel that players can show some commitment or more commitment, particularly because they are expected to show some understandable passion in their national colors. So this leads to um, the complacency argument too. And looking at some of the very unfortunate uh, mistakes made by some of the African teams, we can point at all of um, these reasons. But of course, the urge to do more and the willing um, to put in that extra effort is needed, especially at this level. Okay, well, uh, one last question. Uh, the former Ivory Coast captain, Didier Drogba, said that African football has suffered a huge step back. Do you agree with that? And if anything, can the African teams from this tournament this year take any positives away from it? Well, I, I think, um, just like you said, Drogba, he, he mentioned, and I think I support every statement that he said, and it perfectly captures um, this when he says, like, it is a big step back for um, African teams to reconsider the strategy on how they want to perform in the next um, tournament. Insisting um, is enough. We have enough potential, and they have to work on um, and get more consistency. I think the tournament of this nature require you give, you 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 go in and you give your all. Um, decisiveness and leaving nothing to chance is very key. Attitude and fortitude is everything at this stage, as we saw in the Argentina-Nigeria um, game. Games at the World Cup can be won by any means necessary, but at the end of the day, it always comes down to which side proves tough, both on the field of play and on the bench. And this is more, there is more to be done, I should say, 
if we want to win big, if we must be prepared to play big. At this level, you either go in hard or you go home. All right. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you very soon.